Howdy folks, welcome for another week. Lots of wonderful things to show you again. No rant this week, I'm on rantless, um, but that's probably a good thing. First things first, apples. Um, we've got a few things to show you. There's the new season uh, Red Delicious, which are actually on special this week. Um, they're eating very well. Still, the pick, the galas. Crunchy and supremely tasty. Some of you may be into grannies. Uh, these are new season, fresh off the tree. A couple of things I think are eating fantastically are the nashies, crunchy and sweet. Yesterday at home, we uh, had a couple of riper pears. And the pears, uh, these Williams pears were brilliant. Probably the nicest thing on the plate that we had. The figs are fantastic. A brief little delight. The blueberries are still rolling in from Moondar in Victoria. The berry size has come down a little bit, but the flavour hasn't. They're still very much worthwhile. The absolute buy this week in fruits are the pineapples. They're a reasonable size, they're actually quite large, and these are $5.95. Um, generally a piece like this would go for around the $8, $9 mark. Why pineapples so expensive organically? It's not so much the organic nature in their growing, um, as you probably know, um, generally. One, one fruit per tree per year sometimes too. Uh, with the organic, the, uh, the key difference is that they actually hand harvest, so it's all in the labour. Um, what they do is they walk through the paddock and um, they only select the ripe ones rather than going through with a machine once, harvesting everything green. Um, they're walking through, selecting the, the ripe ones, which means they go through a paddock three or four times, and so you're paying for labour. Um, but let me tell you, if you haven't tried an organic pineapple before, this is the week to do it because it's at $5.95, um, well priced and absolutely beautiful. It smells good. Stone fruit, um, two things to, to look for in stone fruit this week uh, are the peaches, still brilliant, the white nectarines, absolutely fantastic. And uh, I say two things, but the plums, the sugar plums are superbly sweet um, and there's a whole range of plums again. Uh, we've got avocados again, um, straight from the farm. They're from my old mate, Mr. Southcott, up at uh, Elands. Um, he is a biodynamic farmer up there, fully certified. Smaller pieces, um, these are going to price out around about $1.40, which is a magnificent price. We can get four for $4.95, which brings them down to $1.23.3333 each. Now, there are only a couple more things to mention in fruit that are really worthwhile. The flame seedless. Really, really sweet again. The Menendi seedless has sweetened up quite a lot, and they're running a close second to the flame seedless. Julia told me not to mention these because we actually only got managed to get 12 punnets. Um, we wanted a lot more than that. They're fantastic though, so for the lucky 12, enjoy. These are key mangoes, they're big. Um, thicker skin than the Kensington Pride. Um, they do need a few days to ripen. Um, in my opinion, not as nice an eating mango as the Kensington Pride, which is the Suprema, um, but nonetheless, um, a nice big fleshy style. The melons are great. That's pretty much the, uh, the pick of the fruit. In my opinion, the fruit is just far more exciting than the vegetables at the moment, just that time of year, I guess. Eggplant, they're massive this week. Um, pretty much all going to be on the larger size. Cauliflowers aren't the prettiest we've ever had. Um, they've got a few blemishes on them, but they taste great. Little half kilo bags of um, smaller onions, scraped to bake whole. Um, pain in the bum to peel and cut if you're going to use them in stir fries. A dollar fifty a bag, um, that's a half kilo bag. Carrots, lovely large straight pieces. I never know how they manage to get them so straight like that. It never happens in my garden at home. Celery. Medium sized bunch. Legs large. Corn still coming from Pinehaven. Magnificently sweet. I'm sure you've uh, found that, those who uh, took the advice of the recent weeks. Zooks are uh, uh, medium sized pieces. Lebanese cucumbers also medium to large. Romas are quite large. Um, beautiful colour all the way through. Round toms from Pinehaven again. Uh, not the cleanest, prettiest tomatoes but fabulously tasty. Also from Pinehaven are the cherry tongs. Now these are nearly half a kilo um, of tomatoes at the 4.95. Beautiful fruit. Schlots are nice and fresh. 
These are from a new grower, these mushrooms, Steamside Organics in Victoria. Um, now for a long time there has been one grower only of organic mushrooms in the country. Uh, and then for a little while there's been a couple. Now we've got a third that I'm aware of. Uh, mushrooms are one of those things, a little bit like straws. Um, mushrooms like that warm moist environment where all sorts of moulds and funguses can grow. So mushrooms are actually one of the more heavily sprayed crops. Um, again, uh, methyl bromide as a, uh, as a soil fumigant um, is often used. Um, and then also a bleach um, you know, of upwards of 200 parts per million of chlorine. Um, these, as you can see, are unbleached. Um, that also explains a little bit about why organic mushrooms are always significantly more expensive than conventional. They can't plant at the, plant at the same density as the uh, conventional because, of course, they need more airflow in and around um, the mushrooms. And, of course, when something goes wrong, um, you know, if a, uh, a different uh, fungus invades or a mould invades the patch, gone, you've got to turf the whole lot. And, um, uh, you know, so there's a high attrition rate. Beautiful fresh dug sebagos. Sebago, as many of you probably know, good uh, bake and mashing potato. Nicholas, great to make into wedges, bit of sea salt, olive oil into the oven. You can't beat that. A great little grocery special to finish on. This is NASA certified Australian organic butter. Um, it is salted. We haven't had any. Uh, decent supply of uh, Australian butter for quite some time but as the pastures improve out there supply will start to improve again 270 a block